<laughs> <Doesn't Yeah. matter. laughs> it's deserted. Poor Zip. You're right. Yeah, the guy's middle name is bad luck. That's for sure. For all time's sake. Fly with me, baby. Huh. Yes, kiss and baby. It's a new star of rock and roll. Clearly, there's going to be something. Voila, the master himself. What a finch. <laughs> He's a pigeon, not a finch. Don't make me angry, Marty. Okay, I was only joking. <laughs> Billy J. Blackmore. Break me. Uh oh, okay. The whole concert picks. Wow. We'll be playing with Dilma Sail for a handful of feathers. And Shadow Advent. Can't push the buttons. Nope. Just shows. Okay. You still don't eat meat, old man? I'm a rooster, a chicken. Why the hell would I eat meat? I don't mean real meat. I'm not a lunatic. But a meat substitute? There's about 10 different kinds. Have you never tried any of them? Why would I? If I don't eat meat, why would I eat a substitute? Because you can. That's the point. Wild wow, gods, Marty. Stop being <laughs> such a sheep. Do you fall for those adverts? Substitute isn't meat, Sonny. And if it's tasty, why wouldn't I eat it? I don't care what you eat. But don't be surprised when you lose all your feathers or you try to bite off your own leg one day. Actually, the funny thing is, I actually know that chickens will eat pretty much anything you put in front of them, <laughs> including like their own eggs. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, there's the almost ham and tomato, quasi meat and cheese, all but bacon and chocolate. Well, I guess that's for the dogs. All for foul pancakes. Oh. Touche flu souffle, excuse me. Smellin' souffle. Peanut souffle with harsh vegetables. Sure. Just like home, eh? Holds up knows best. If it's a supersized hot dog with synthetic sausage, chocolate mix, and devil horn paprika. The grass dog savannah style, step burger 2000, the sea of superstar. Hot, hot dog dog. Hot dog hot and dog. And of course, zip coffee. Yep. Good stuff. The tour didn't look like this last time. Yeah, because last time you tore it out and beat that baboon with it. Oh, yeah. I remember now. So that's why Zip remodeled the whole place. <laughs> we didn't leave much of it standing. If I didn't know how nice we are, I'd almost hate ourselves. Welcome to the club, partner. <laughs> All right, Zip. He sure it didn't get any younger. Or oh, prettier. You think he's still mad at us? Frankly, Marty, I don't give a damn. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Hello, boys. Now get the hell out of here while I'm asking nicely. <laughs> hey, is that how you greet two old friends? Hey, I'm not joking, Sonny. I got a shotgun under the bar. No, you don't, because if you had, we'd arrest you here and now. If there's still life in you when you're full of buckshot. Ah, it's going well so far. We're just here for a coffee, Zip, okay? Like old times. Nothing's like old times. Haven't you noticed? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's quite noticeable. Shit. All right. And where'd you blow in from? We haven't been anywhere yet. <laughs> we're going somewhere. Everybody's going somewhere, right? Tell me, how much do you know, Zip? That depends. How deep is it? Bottom of the well kind. Goes down around Ibn Wessler. Holy hell! Wessler? You've dipped your wings in deep shit, boys. If you've got anything on him, don't keep it to yourself. We'd be grateful. Well, that reminds me, Marty. There's something very important I need to tell you. <laughs> grateful. Maybe you're not gonna trash my joint this time, eh? You know, Ibn's acting strange nowadays. He always believed that if you want something done, you do it yourself. That's how it was for years, anyway. And? But 
But now, he left his real estate, the fish racing clubs, the casinos, and the bars to his right-hand man, Mongrel Mick. And ever since, he's been kind of weird, bottomed out, brooding in the seediest joints of the city. Nobody ever knew him to be like this. Weird, huh? Yeah, weird. Do you think it's about a lady? It's always about a lady. Well, there is a woman. I knew it. But <laughs> not like you think. Is this gonna cost much? Only a favor, like the good old days. Okay, I'm in. It function ask. Yeah, that we can ask. Also, a bunch of things got added over. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, it's page. The hive. How we're just gonna the hive so, roach town. Yeah, roach town. Once part of the city, it can hold off ghetto, where ninety eight percent of the city's insect population is forced to live. Apparently, the biggest threat to the city are the riots of the hive, and almost driven the city stick to the brink of war multiple times already. <laughs> the hot dog, hot dog. <laughs> and the Great Fire. Not long after the Meat War and the following economic crisis in 893, a fire almost destroyed the entire city of Clawville. Originated in the Ratwell district, not even the River Times was able to stand in its way. It a fiery hell incarnate after which the city had to be built up again from scratch. In, yeah, of course, it's yes, to reduce me to uh, not only public prayers, but all kinds of animals. Stop eating each other. Mick is one of the most infamous henchmen of Ivan Wessler, known rather known by many rather scary nicknames thanks to his cruel nature. Sonny Marty crossed path Mick's floor, took a lot of to get his counters and their feathers intact. Yeah. <laughs> As you'd expect. Yep. Yeah. Highlight of my day. Yeah. I can smell it already. How does he make the coffee here so special? Look at that mangy trash panda and tell me, do you really want to know? <laughs> How much you want to bet you'll end up in a roach motel? Um, you're right. <sighs> probably. No uh, probably better than we think. <laughs> inside. Fuck the king. Oh, man. Well, that's a good question, pal. Where are all the where are all the, the colors, colors go? go? <laughs> Fair enough. I'm colorblind. What do you think happened? Well, I guess you better start talking. This is it. Oh, so Zar Club, Hop Dog, Hobart, Ivan, Wessler, the Touch, Natasha Katz, Katzinko, and Zip H. Murphy. I guess we'll start. Have you ever been to that place? Of course, a hundred times. Everyone who matters in this city's been there. Sorry. We'll get to the hot dog, don't we? But then, <laughs> a different name and a different owner. Business affairs, right? Yeah, that was the dark era, Sonny. I don't want to talk about it. Roger that. All right, hot dog. <laughs> I've got to say, you've revamped the joint pretty well. Yeah, after you trashed it, I had to. Look, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Zip. That ocelot and his gorilla. Baboon, not gorilla. Whatever. Sonny, <clears throat> watch your beak. <laughs> so you owe me one until about the end of time. But I'd settle for you washing up here for a few years after retirement, Sonny. Mind your tongue, furball. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Hobart. So, Ibn's gone insane. Love will kill you in the end, they say. Seems like everyone's in a poetic mood today. <laughs> You're one to talk, by the way. Huh? Why? <laughs> I'm genre blind. So, about <laughs> that woman. It's Oops, he's really What woman is it, then? No, Zip. I mean, really dangerous. She's got the most influential gangster of the city wrapped around her finger. She calls him her little furball. How dangerous do you think she is? Hmm. You didn't get any younger, pal. <sighs> You're telling me? You look like you haven't had a good night's sleep since forever. To be honest, I've never had a good night's sleep in my life. <laughs> You will when the big sleep comes. The big sleep. And what are your plans? Dying behind the bar? Of course. You got a better idea? <laughs> a couple. Yeah. But somehow this suits you. You know what? Your mother's a goat. 
Oh, I'm not sure I understood that, but that... Well, I... I don't know if there's anything else you can talk about. That Natasha's a mysterious woman. A real cursed jewel, if you ask me. She came out of nowhere two or three years ago and landed on the stage of the millions almost immediately. Is that so? Interesting. Yeah, she's got a fantastic voice. Makes men go crazy. But we all know that's not what's important. Then suddenly, bam! She got the whole club. Just like that. But we know exactly how it was. I can imagine, yeah. Since then, it operates under the name The Czar Club, right? The old click is still clicking, right? Yeah. The club was renamed and remodeled. Everyone knows she was Ibn's lover, but she's not your usual canary. She didn't get involved in Ibn's dirty dealings. Then how exactly does she fit into the picture? Check this. A few months ago, the old rat pulled out of his own businesses and gave control to Mongrel Mick and his mob. Mongrel Mick? Doesn't sound familiar. Mick the Marauder ring a bell? Damn, that little monkey came this far? Uh, I think that little shit took advantage of Ibn not being himself. Which has something to do with this Natasha, right? That's my guess. Thanks for this straight dope, Zip. We owe you one. One? You owe me the price of a new coffee shop, remember? Okay, okay. Whatever you need. Just call us. I clucking will. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Hey, I'm not your pal, Marty. He said the C word. Yeah, really. Uh, just curious if uh, you know how to say it. Do it. Do it. Do I know how to say it? Yeah. Like, I think it's just auto. Okay, it's just auto. Okay. You can go ahead and check your notes again. That was math. Which I probably will be doing shortly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mongrel. Uh, yeah, always. So we know what this is. All right. Yeah. So Mick is one of the most infamous henchmen of Ivan Whistler, known by other, many other scary nicknames, thanks to his cool nature. Oh, yeah, we actually just get this already. Sorry. Oh, it's probably under people, because we got more information about other people we were talking about, like, uh, Kizinska? Cat. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Natasha, right next to, uh, Deborah up there. She's still a sketch. Mm hmm Yeah, that is really easy to stretch. Yeah, a girl a gangster. She owns a Czar Club. Uh huh. And she was a singing sensation of the millions and later became the owner under Evan's best patron. No, no, no. Best before this, though. Yep. Fair enough. All right. Okay. I guess we're getting out of here. Yep. All right, so. Let's go. We can go right to the Czar Club at this point. Midnight had passed, and the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main street toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by neon signs and billboards, like half-drunk lovers on a fine leather sofa. <laughs> Great old houses neighbored by garish modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. The Tsar's huge neon sign was visible for miles. A blazing red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. Ah, cops were never welcomed at places like this. I hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. <laughs> ah, so this is the famous Czar Club. More like infamous, Marty. It's not for our kind, that's for sure. And I don't mean that they don't like foul here. Well, at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective, Boss Bird. Very funny, Marty. So what are we gonna do now? We find Natasha, the broad who sent me the message, remember? But first, we need to get into the club. And Marty, please, don't monkey this up. <gasps> Excuse me? 
on behalf of the well-respected and noble primate community of Clawville. Cut the crap, Marty. Let's focus on what we're here for. Oh, as you say, boss bird. Uh, right run of foul. Hey, that's your old friend, right? Wait, what was his name? Uh, Lawrence? Lamar? No, Liam. Lewis. Yes, it's him. To be honest, Sonny, I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Nobody's perfectly sane in Clawville, Marty. But if not for this old rabbit, I wouldn't be here today. I'll never forget that. Should I thank him for that? Or kill him for it? You're reading my mind, boss. <laughs> Honestly, I think these types of women only see faceless tuxedos, cufflinks, and wallets. And in the mirror, they're just brooches, necklaces, and earrings. Don't be so radical, Marty. They're women. They live by different rules. Hmm, <laughs> that was kind of deep. It's not. Just bullshit. <laughs> more where that came from. Ooh, teach me, master. When you're old and wise like me, you'll realize none of it is worth a damn thing. Wait, that was deep again, right? Maybe it was, Marty. Maybe it was. Amazing. Fancy girl. Oh, look at that. Isn't that the new? It is, Marty. A brand new 942 Silver Hawk. Haven't seen such beauty since I left Averia. Of all that's furry, who <coughs> is it? Maybe it's Ibn Westlers. I guess he's no paper tiger. Yeah, he sounds like a fellow who drives around in one of these. Lucky bastard. <laughs> All right. Ah, I like this. Why is that? I don't know. Cause it's moving, I guess. <laughs> You're a simple bird, aren't you? Yes, I am. Oh, uh, we're kind of like clicking this around right now. We'll we'll talk to them when we can. When they billboard for a Clawville story. It was covered. Yes. Don't worry, I'll get to Lewis. I'm yeah, just look going around. Oh, newspaper. The <laughs> newspaper. A really high quality newspaper. You mean when they wrote something about us daily? <laughs> yeah. What exactly happened to them? Well, they got bored with us, Marty. And to be honest, so did I. But still, here we are working together again. Funny, huh? Yeah, hilarious. Oh, you can't see anything up there. One day, neon signs will cover the whole world. I'm telling you. You read that in some kind of science fiction book? No, it's just what I think. Oh, so you have your own thoughts now. The world's really moving forward. Pluck off, Sonny. <laughs> ah, oh. You know, seeing this, I can't wait for the show. The girls. New Year's Eve's once a year, right? And we're not on duty. Have I asked how Laura's doing? Whoa, hey, I, <laughs> I was just kidding, okay? My relationship with Laura is unwavering, like the rhino beauty on this picture. Interesting taste you've got. <laughs> Feathers, scales, or dermal armor? A lady's a lady, my friend. Feathers, scales, or dermal armor? Thank the wild gods for self-sacrificing gentlemen like you. <laughs> nope, nice. yep, there's a rhino. Some kind of bird. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell her. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else you can see in this scene, or...? Nope. Nope, just the sign. Okay. Uh, I guess it's time to talk to you. Yep. Oh, this. Sonny, my dear friend! Hi, yes. <laughs> Lewis. This is my partner, but I'm sure you already know. You Seal. No idea how oh, yeah. happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. I'm a big admirer. Pleasure uh, of mine, Lawrence. Lawrence? <clears throat> Anyways, so the legendary chicken police back together? <laughs> Isn't it amazing news? 
Don't ruffle my feathers, Lewis. Those days are long gone. We're just here for the entertainment. Or something like that. I see. Well, that's a shame. See you inside? I have s s something to do, my f f f f pal, but I'll try to make it for the main event. Okay, then. Catch you later, pal. <laughs> Alright, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not much else. Better talk to the uh, other bird in the scene. I, the stork leader. Oh. Okay, boss. We're not bothering this she, one. She's not in interesting. I guess. Jeez, look at that guy. That's not a guy. That's a demon. Straight from the dog-eared pages of a cheap detective novel. Yeah, I bet his name's Bill. Nah, he's definitely a Bob. <laughs> Five bucks for Bill? Okay, I'm in. Bill or Bob? Let's see if his name is. Howdy, pal. Gentlemen, how can I help you on this wonderful chilly night? We're expected in the VIP lounge. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. May I ask? Uh, stop right there, <laughs> big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. So what do you have to do to get in? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? The list? Yeah. I'm, uh... Ah, uh... oh, don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case, you can't come in. Yeah, right. Uh, thanks. My pleasure, gentlemen. <laughs> Five bucks for Bob and the club. Uh, anyway, um, I guess we have to get on well. the list. They actually opened up an ask. Uh, Look, I really don't want any trouble, but... It is even more inconvenient for me, sir, but... This place doesn't like, uh, coppers. Forgive this line. I can't let just anybody in, and there are some I am strictly forbidden to. Please, you have to understand. Listen here, you cow. <laughs> Do you have any idea who we are? You ever read the papers? Of course, I know who you are, sir. I get the news and more, and I must admit it's an honor to meet you in person, Mr. Santino Featherland and Mr. Marty Machikin. The Bell of the Pantages is one of my favorite books. Oh my god, not the books again. <laughs> so it would be terribly inconvenient for me if I had to use force on you, gentlemen. What, what did you just say? Relax, Marty. This guy has chicks like you for breakfast. <laughs> the information, pal. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you for understanding, gentlemen. And forgive me for my austere composition. No problem, Shakespeare. Say, big guy, you know Mr. Lewis Hayworth? But of course. Mr. Hayworth is an impeccable gentleman. And also a frequent visitor of the club. Is that so? Good to know. And? I'm afraid that is all, monsieur. What can you tell me about the first lady of the place, big guy? Uh, you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko, sir? You're right on point, pal. Nothing you don't know already, sir. Just try me. Well, she owns the place. And, uh... That's it? Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> unbelievable. Pardon, monsieur, but I'm not permitted to say anything more. Okay. So we know that Lewis is apparently a fruit one. Why not do anything Look, Lewis, that bouncer over there. Well, yes, he is a bit intimidating, but his manners are impeccable. Am I right? Yes, indeed, but it seems tonight we're not on his list. Oh, I see. Uh, um. Oh. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he won't let you. Yeah, something like that. 
No, 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 no problem at all. Come with me. I'll talk to him. Much obliged, pal. Yeah, thanks, Bunny. Excuse me. Jeez, oh, what the hell's wrong with you, Marty? <laughs> what? Did I say something wrong? You can't just call him a bunny. All right, I guess you just have to walk over to him. And... Maybe you just have to do the talk. Yeah. Sir, how'd you do? Everything's fine, Mr. Aworth. Good. <clears throat> uh, look, this noble pair of pigeons are my friends. They're on the list, okay? Merci la mon, sir. And as for you, <clears throat> you owe me one, gentlemen. Thanks, old pal. It was my pleasure to help you. As always. Somebody's gonna owe favors to everybody in town with this reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So now you can just walk in. Nice. Jazz overwhelmed us. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke and the smell of spilt whiskey. Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk, even if you've never had a sip. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Tsar. Well, here we are. Mother of... I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? <laughs> oh, does it mean you're buying, honey? Don't even think about it. <laughs> oh, men these days. So, we're here to find a dame called Natasha. I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. Just like always. No, Marty, not like always. This time is for real. I was hoping to have missed the main event. You're a rusty old cock, that's why. No band on stage. You didn't bother to make one. Anyways, rusty old cock, by the way. So says the little butt jam. Butt jam. <laughs> what? what? That's not even a word. It is now. All because of you. You should feel good. <laughs> butt jam. Uh, you know, Sonny, sometimes you're like an evil little child. Nothing. Yeah. Right, got some patrons. Little <laughs> Fox Bella. Fox Bella's over here. No one to talk to. Uh, henchman, <laughs> of course. Oh, let's go to the left. Whoa. Yeah, it was further than I thought I was going to go. There's a, a bird. A bird. Let's look hey, there's Philmar. Oh. Who? Oh, yes. Philmar. Because that's what he calls himself, right? You know him well? We had some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly in Averia, way before Clawville. Another place. Wait, did they spell Averia different this time? Spell what? Did they spell Averia different? Ah, I can't remember. Sounds good. Like the blurb of some cheap pulp fiction book. Yeah, <laughs> it was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. Uh, right here, guys. <laughs> well, well. If it isn't the great detective, Marlo. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. <laughs> okay. Mr. Dumbass alias Phil Marlowe. So says someone who tried to go undercover with a feather pillow mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? <laughs> that was a long time ago. I was young. And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe, and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. Okay, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I'm a little clapped tonight. <laughs> uh, I know the feeling, pal. By the way, what are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. Are you here for a good old-fashioned beating? We stick out? Man, you look terrible. Like someone who sat on an electric pole. <laughs> Don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. You want a case? 
Five feet tall, half of that legs. Angelic voice, demonic eyes, just the usual. Oh, boy. And you? Something like that. Just don't know the exact numbers yet. A dame named Natasha. She called us here. If I was mistaken, <laughs> the joint is hers. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, good luck, guys. That broad has a <laughs> reputation. She's not the kind to toy with, if you know what I mean. Laz, Anya, and Tom Ato. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and she's your salad. For, yeah. For free? Stop clucking around, Philmar. All right, but just because of the old days. Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Don't leave unless you're thrown out. In which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other. I'll deny you in a blink. Good to see you too, old pal. We'll be back. 